The Legend of the Painted Turtle, written by Blake Maher, illustrated by Joshua Maher. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, when the world was very young, there was a turtle who wandered all the time in search of a home. He was not the kind of turtle that we think about today with a hard, tough shell to protect him, but instead was the kind of turtle we might find if we slid a turtle right out of his shell, one with a skinny green body, soft and tender, with little to protect him from the harsh elements of the world. For many, many years, the turtle had been searching for a safe place to live and call home, because without any protection, he was always afraid of the other animals that might have taste for a good turtle soup. He searched high and low for such a place, but everywhere he went, the other animals, coyotes, hawks, even a mountain lion or two, would chase after him. It was a good thing that he was a fast runner, for otherwise there were many times when he would have been someone's dinner. Finally, one day, the turtle found himself wandering through the high desert. It was hot and dry, and the big, vast sky and scarce trees left him feeling exposed and unprotected from his enemies. But the turtle made it through the first few days, and gradually he began to make friends with a few of the other creatures in the area, with the lizards, the rabbits, a bird here and there, tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. He even sang a few times with the field mice, who liked to sing at the moon. Although in general, he thought the mice to be a bit silly. One day, when a particularly nasty hawk caw, 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 kept swooping down on the turtle, trying to snap him up in its beak, a rabbit signaled to the turtle from her hole and helped him inside until the hawk got tired and flew away. Caw! Caw! The turtle thought to himself, Well, this is a fine how-do-you-do. Who would have thought a rabbit could protect me? For the first time, it occurred to him that one of the forms of protection he always had with him was his friends. He gathered together this idea of friendship and stuck it on his back where it made a round shape and took on the bluish color of an early night sky. After a few days, it grew hard and solid on his back and to his surprise, he realized that when other animals tried to attack him now, he could always count on this piece of friendship to protect him. Another night, the turtle was out strolling in the moonlight when a coyote began to howl at him in a very hungry way. A group of field mice singing at the moon motioned for him to take cover in an old hollow log nearby. At first the turtle was nervous about trusting the mice. Field mice can sing like the dickens, but they're as silly as can be, he thought to himself. But the mice said, we're here to help you turtle and the turtle trusted them and hid inside the log. After a while, the coyote grew tired of circling the log and left the turtle alone. The turtle was glad he had trusted the field mice and began to understand that trusting in the right friends was something that could help him in difficult times too. So the turtle shaped his trust together in a solid plate and put it on his back. Soon afterward, it too had hardened beside the blue piece of friendship. Only this time, it was as tough as stone and as red as a heart. Turtle soon began to find that the same thing happened with kindness and courage and laughter and love. Every time he took one of these gifts from his friends and stored them on his back, they served to protect him, each taking on a different color of yellow or orange or purple or green. In no time at all, the turtle had a marvelous many-colored shell that he wore on his back as the best kind of protection in life, that of friends who cared about him. And soon, those animals that had once hunted him found that if they chased after the turtle now, he simply pulled into his shell, his home, created by the love of all those around him. It's true he wasn't quite as fast a runner anymore, but who cared about speed when you had love? Today, the painted turtle lives for many, many years. And why is that, you might ask? 
Why is that? Well, it's because the turtle learned that the protection we need in life is found in those around us, from kindness and friendship, from respect and trust. These are the things that are important in life. These are the things that help us to endure. So take a lesson from the turtle and gather around you that which is important. If you do this, you'll never be far from home. The end. Thanks for joining us. To learn more about the Painted Turtle, a camp for children with serious medical conditions, visit our website, www.thepaintedturtle.org. See you next time.